Hi, I'm Rob from Hobzine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time you are looking at a bottle of Smokey and the Band-Aid. It is a Imperial Smoked Rye Porter, brewed by the Buxton Brewery, Buxton in England. Um, as you can see, it is part of their special reserve series. It's number two. Beautiful looking label, as you can kind of see on that as the hat lights hitting it. It's really nice kind of like um, matte paper with a lovely little bit of silver foil blocking. 7% ABV. There's a really nice little thing on the side of this. Well, they re re released a short series of free beers from this kind of reserve series rice quite recently. This is the number two. It says, uh, number two in our special reserve series. This is our smoked rye porter. Dry hocked for flavour and aroma, it's smoky, exclamation mark. We scoured the earth for malts to put in this beer to bring you the uh, the unmistakably peaty character of Smokey and the Band-Aid. So yeah, fantastic, there you go, it's got, it's got James, James Kemp's signature on there, the head brewer at the brewery. Every time I see Mike from Buxton, he's always kind of hinting at things, what Buxton up to, I'm like, oh, so what are you guys up to at the moment? And he kind of hints it, he never tells me everything. Kind of hints at something. Well, we're doing this. We're doing that. We're we're doing we're doing something exciting with um, with Zar. So he's always kind of uh, wetting the appetite <laughs> for what's coming up. And this was one of the ones that I think they took to Breft uh, Beer Festival, and the the excess or the rest of the batch they um, they're putting bottles and released in very very small quantities. Before I kind of like get into this, I'm not a massive fan of petered kind of notes in a beer but I am open to be convinced so anyway the beer in the glass it is pretty much black a real nice shiny black looks like, like um, um, polished ebony it's a beautiful looking beer really it's a nice creamy tight head quite a mid brown kind of like caramelly kind of looking head it looks like it's a cracking looking beer so let's check out the aroma Oh yeah, definitely. It's really peaty. Like a freshly opened elastoplast. There is a certain vinous note in there. It's like mineral note. But there's not much else apart from peat. It's not kind of like... It's not blowing your senses of power, which is good. It's, a, it's nicely balanced, it's nicely restrained, but still very much, it's peat all the way. Anyway, let's dive in. Cheers. That's really nice. Oh, you wouldn't think it was 7% at all. You think it was like 5 Five tops, really. Coming to back to that nose, there is, it is a more of a kind of smoky bacon actually going on. There's a kind of a, a current struck date thing there as well. Initially quite watery, not watery, but not loads going on. A peak, a little bit of coffee, filter coffee, then a nice kind of blast of the um, that peated note, that kind of elastoplast note. There is definitely the, the characters of a really nice uh, dark malt, bring a little bit of a um, bit more of that coffee, slight chocolate note, but it's more of a kind of a raisins, currants. At the front, maybe maybe a hint of um, black currant, blueberry. Only only slight though. Yeah, real kind of acrid, burnt, um, kind of charcoal note, slightly sulphurous. Lasting coffee, bitter coffee. Big old espresso, an earthy, dark roast. And, and, the, and the taste of um, the, the smoky quality of, of, of kind of like smoked meats, maybe like kind of like mackerel, 
something like that as well. Not as intense as something like Schlenkele. A lot more balance. A lot more depth to it. There's not as much. It's not all about um, peat actually. The, the nose is, and that's without a doubt. There is a big kind of aromatic kind of peat, you know, really virgin on kind of antiseptic. But it's well, it's really beautifully performed, is that. And as I said, I'm not a fan. Of, of that kind of uh, uh, that aroma in general, but I think it's really nicely done in this. I mean, look at me, I keep going back to it, and, I, and that's not an aroma that I'm that fond of. But the beer is balanced to perfection, and it's got so much depth of flavour as well. It's giving it enough smoke. I had another British um, Northern brewed, <coughs> excuse me, smoke porter recently, and that went too far. This has just really been drawn back, well judged. You can see links to something like, um, the characteristics of something like Black Rocks, uh, Dark Nights, All Suffer, those two, both by Buxton, both lovely beers as well. You can kind of see that in there. I'm left with a bit of a um, cinder, burnt cinder toffee cum, kind of bonfire toffee now, a bit sticky on the lips. Not that full bodied, really quite slick, not watery but quite slick, but a really nice to put together beer, I'm halfway through the glass already, it's 7%, you would not see that whatsoever, it's a bottle that I'm probably going to keep hold of as well because it's so beautifully produced, probably the best of the, the three, though. I mean it's abominable, it's a nice looking bottle though, you'll get to see that sometime in the future, but really nicely done, really nicely done, probably one of the better smoked beers I've had in a long time, that peat aroma is there. It's not too overpowering, even somebody, somebody who's not a huge fan of that particular aroma. But the beer itself is a beautiful drinking experience. One of the better smoked beers I've had, to be honest. It's really nice. It's really nice. It does remind me of um, Alaskan smoke pot, which I think is a real kind of top drawer um, smoke pot, which people kind of see as a real benchmark for the style. And this is right up there with it. So that is a bottle of. Smoky and the Band-Aid Imperial Smoked Rye Porter part of Buxton Brewery's Special Reserve Series this is number two beautifully presented beer a really tasty brew as well 7% ABV you never know it and I'm loving it I, I'm, I'm, I'm nicely surprised and I'm glad it's as good as it is anyway I'm Rob from Hobbsy.com see you next time cheers